Saturday night, and we all know what that means. It's time to get some turtle food out and feed the turtles. What do you do when it's Saturday night? You get in the freezer full of frozen fish, persimmons, and some other frozen animals, and you pick out what you're going to feed your giant alligator snapping turtle. All the food that I give the turtles has been frozen. I like it because it kills parasites and fungus. And right here, I have ammo canisters filled up with tonight's feed for the turtles, the meals that they'll be offered. I've got some clams, bluegill, persimmons, catfish. I think there's a crawdad in there. Run some hot water in there, thaw it all out. Go out to the turtle building, turn off the pumps and filters. That's kind of a trigger to the turtles. They're used to that. When the pumps go shut off, and it's been a week, they're going to get fed. So these catfish were frozen. These are about two to three pound catfish when they're frozen up. And we'll get them out of there. I'll weigh them. I weigh everything. I cut them in half because they freeze better in those bread bags. We're going to weigh everything, scan it for metal, checking it for hooks, and uh, write down who was offered what and move into a feeding. Tonight I also have some oddities. Uh, Oscar, the 135 pound alligator snapping turtle, likes the apples and I'm going to go ahead and throw this squash in there. I look at it as more of an enrichment toy. He's probably going to chew that up, shred it, and make a big mess for me to clean up, but I'll have a big mess to clean up anyway, especially when he gets done eating this, uh, what are we looking at, about 1200 grams of catfish. I've slit the bellies of the catfish so that they'll sink in the water and added about 1200 grams of catfish to this 135 pound turtle's habitat. They don't like food that floats. So I make sure that the, flu the food that I'm offering them sinks to the bottom. In 35 years I haven't seen this turtle eat. He'll uh, ravage it within hours but I leave them alone, I leave them quiet, I leave them in private and that's the way they like it. Now for some persimmon. Oscar likes persimmon, the young ones like persimmon. I freeze it up because it's such a seasonal fruit that's hard to find around here. Crumb here, the little two-year-old, he's in here, hiding under that piece of bark, has cut up bluegill. I'm going to feed him a crawdad, and there's some snails that have been through the freezing thawing process. Now all this food is gathered by me. Let's see what else we got. Two clams. These will go to Oscar. He crunches them up, swallows them, shell and all. All the food's been weighed, recorded, scanned for metal, and added to the turtle tanks. Well, the turtles were fed last night, and it's now time to walk out here to the turtle room and see how successful we were, see how much they ate, see how much waste, weigh it all, record it, and clean up. Okay, amongst the glare issues, you can see this little alligator snapping turtle, two-year-old, lives in a uh, habitat just full of sticks and wood and hiding places, and this is what they love. So it makes it a little hard to determine, but it looks to me like I'm seeing the uneaten crawdad and a piece of bluegill. So I'll get in here and shift all this uh, debris or wood around, sort out any uneaten food, weigh it subtract it from what was offered and we will know exactly how much this guy ate last night. Over here in the 135 pound turtles habitat he's laying in there in the back you can almost make him out the water's all nasty murky on top uneaten apples a butternut squash untampered with sometimes they'll just chew things up to have fun and I can tell that a catfish was chewed up you got pieces of fat floating on top of the water it's time to drain these tanks find any uneaten food and weigh it. The 24 year old turtles, the glare is terrible on top of the water for filming. I see the persimmon is all gone in this tank and we'll sort to the bottom and see, make sure once we drain and clean. And this one, I see some persimmon laying there and almost no fish. So this one's called Kenny Crumb. This one over here is called Connie Crumb. They're kept separate so they don't wound each other during feedings and they eat differently. 
Here's a nice trick. I have a drain plug over there. You get that hot with the hot air gun. Piece of PVC. Push it down over the drain plug. And you've got a wrench to unscrew a drain plug. So this is what I call a tannin extractor. This is a barrel with a bucket submerged down in it. You can see the handle of the bucket. I also have a bag full of leaves in there. But in the bucket has a strainer screen on both sides. It's filled with cypress mulch. It sits there making a cypress mulch tea. And every time I change the turtle water, I can reintroduce tannins back into their tank. I'm doing that right now by just draping that hose in the lid over the edge. And you can see a darkness coming out, mixing in the water. And that's putting tannins back into the water that I just refilled the tank with.